Hello there, Internet. Tom Nook from the Adventures Guild. Oh, no, that's that's not right. Hello there, guildies. Steve from the Adventures Guild here, and my island in Animal Crossing New Horizons is officially a five star. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and tour Guildville. Hi guys, welcome to Guildville, my five star island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So we're going to go ahead and kick off this tour by just walking straight north into the center of town. So right here, smack in the middle of the map, we have the town hall. To the right, we have the fully upgraded Nook's Cranny with a little gas pump in case anybody needs some gasoline. Telephone booth if you got to make a phone call. And then if you look at the map when it pops up here on the lower right, you'll see I have most of my houses condensed in the lower section of the map in the middle with a couple on the left and a few smattered out on the right hand side on the other side of those rivers. I like to keep the houses kind of all close to each other as opposed to spread out. And then up here we have the upgraded museum which just got the artwork and sculpture area. Come down here. The beach to the left, I don't have anything. I just wanted to, I wanted one nice open beach on my island. So I just have some wave breakers here and some uh, little sandbox there. So if you come across this bridge here to the left, this is where it starts to get a little interesting. So down to the left here, we have the fishing area. This is where you know, all your fishing goes on with your dock. And as usual, there is no good fish there. Come up this way, I call this Turnip Beach. So you know, a couple days out of the week, this entire beach is just chock full of turnips. This is about half a million bells worth of turnips. Uh, so we'll ignore that for now because it's kind of boring. And then when we get to here, we have the sports arenas to the left and the amusement park to the right. So we're going to go ahead and start with the amusement park. We take a walk in here and we're greeted by a giant fire breathing dinosaur. Any second now. Oh, there we go. And then we have a big old teddy bear here cotton candy machine, gumball machine, so when you first walk in the amusement park you can get your food. A little jungle gym, some riding toys here, tire seat, DJ table, which I got a whole bunch of KK Slider music registered. Uh, little magic area or fortune telling station, and then a big old um, tea, tea, uh, tea cup ride, couldn't think of the word. Come back to the left and we go this way up the hill here and this is my favorite part of the island up here this is the sports menus so we have a basketball um, court and a soccer field and i designed both of these myself they're pretty basic i've seen some more advanced fields but i wanted two separate fields and it takes up a lot of slots in your custom design inventory so i just made it a little bit more basic but i, I like the way they look so they're really cool to the right of those are is a little vending area and a little bathroom. So, you know, if you're playing some uh, basketball and you get thirsty, you can just go to the vending machines and get something to uh, eat and drink there. Bounce the ball a little bit here. And then if you go north from the soccer field, we have uh, a little zen area here. You can kind of hang out at the fountain, toss some coins in. And then up here on the left, this is one section I don't have... Um, steps to just because it's kind of its own thing this is the power plant so there's no reason to ever come up here so I didn't bother building steps but this is the power plant so it's where wind power and solar power and the communications array is for the island and then over here is this is uh, Guildville Orchard 2 so this is just a small orchard with all of the fruit types that are not available natively on my island my island is pears so I just have some backup fruits up here. This is where people who need fruit, I send them up here to grab fruit as opposed to my primary orchard, which we'll see in a minute. Little cool uh, bridge here over the river. Down here is, oh, I gotta pick that flower, it doesn't belong there. Little garden here, little another little zen garden. I am going to come, I'm gonna go back this way because I wanna show you my house from the other direction. So we're going to briefly run back over here, down the steps, and across the bridge. So going back into the center of town here, right above the town hall is my house. So my house is fully upgraded. I have a nice little fountain here, 
you know, my fancy pants here with my fountain and my, my little stone walkway. Leads up to my fully upgraded house with a second story, basement, all the rooms. I have a swimming pool here, my dog house. Got some, some of those newfangled shrubs. We will look inside the house as the for the last thing that we do so if we go to the right of my house this is guildville orchard one this is the primary orchard so i have all of the fruit that i pick and sell you know every couple days across the bridge is the back half of the orchard uh there's what is it six or seven of each tree uh, of all of the non-native fruit and then to the right behind this house is my primary fruit so here's all of my pears on the entire island. There's an absolute ton of them. And then this section here is my little bamboo growth area. So I, you know, harvest all my bamboo every day. Another little cool zen area by this waterfall. And then if we come over here past the orchard and up this hill, this is where we were a minute ago when I turned around and went the other way. So this all leads back to the same spot. There was that fancy little bridge. Now this is one of, another one of my favorite areas down here. You follow this sign and through this little shrub path here, past these trees, and we get to an outdoor diner. So this is a cool little hangout spot. It's a, you know, it's not a building. It's just a straight up outdoor diner with a eating booth here, a little diner booth and an espresso machines and coffee, record player going. Fun little uh, pear, pear shape, not pear, peach shaped uh, seat there, kind of cool. And then up here, if you continue to go north, up the hill here, there's a back entrance by the orchard, and then there's the front entrance here, which is uh, this little wood walkway, little boardwalk walkway that wraps around this river. You walk through the tree path here, more roses through these trees, and you've entered the gigantic flower garden that wraps all the way around this lake which leads to a waterfall another cool spot it's got a little wishing well so there's some cool stuff there and then we'll take a shortcut and we'll just instead of going back through the center of town we'll just climb down here it's my little lighthouse got it right on the side of the island there just a little hangout spot to chill and watch uh, the fish. Got a gift that apparently I can't shoot right now because it's blowing off the island. Come down through here. And this, oh, little, got a little silo there. And this is the campground. So this is actually to the right and below my uh, pear. So there's my pear orchard right there. And then right below it is my campground. And then down here, another few houses here. Down here is a swimming beach. And then to the, instead of taking the bridge, we'll just go ahead and hop over to save some time. So this is the section that the main town is. So the, you know, the main town is sort of here to the left. That's what the, where the buildings are. And then we have a little park where you can kind of hang out and get some popcorn, play some music. And then at the bottom half of the park is just like a relaxing beach big old fire, uh, pizza oven, and then my little sandcastle there. So that's most of the interesting stuff from the island. So now let's take a quick peek inside my house. So again, my house is fully upgraded. I already uh, went ahead and changed the outside to look pretty cool. So the house isn't 100% finished, but it's pretty far along. Uh, there's this actually weirdly enough. This is the the room that I'm the least happy with this room and my bedroom are my two least favorite rooms so far But this is the main entryway. It's got the dining table little area to watch TV Some of my trophies that I've won for my nice house and my fishing tournament Some more stuff over here by the fireplace got some custom artwork. There's Pikachu That fish poster from the fishing tournament Now this over here is my bedroom and this room is probably the least finished of all of the rooms. So here's the bedroom. Just got some various stuff hung on the wall. Got my Donkey Kong bed sheets. My giant bell floor mat there. Little desk with uh, all my paperwork on it so I can pay my taxes. Various stuff hung on the wall. Go back to the left. 
So if we go up, this is the bathroom. So the bathroom, I think, is pretty much done. Um, I don't really know of anything else I want to add to this. Bathroom has all the basic stuff like, uh, you know, the vanity, the toilet, the shower. Got the little shower head on the wall. I even have my have my washing machine and a vacuum in here, wardrobe. Nice big old fluffy carpet in the middle. Come back down here. To the left is the kitchen. The kitchen is pretty much done as well. There might be one or two things I want to add, but it's going to be all little stuff. So the kitchen has, you know, the fridge, the oven, the sink. I do want to change that sink when I get the ironwood set finished. I'll change the sink. But otherwise, it's mostly done. I really like this. This is actually one of those uh, weird, junky dressers that you get in the beginning of the game, but I flipped it around so it looks like a countertop. So that's really just a dresser, but I like the way it looks sitting like that, the way it's customized. Microwave on top of that. Got my little Bowser picture on the wall. So there's the kitchen. Come back out here. And there's two rooms left. Oh, we have the basement and the game room. So we'll check out the basement first. I like this room a lot. So the basement is the gym and the work, or not the gym and the uh, the workshop. So this is the basement. To the right is the gym area, and then the whole rest of the basement is the workshop, sewing area, little wash basin, electronics area, little radio to hang out to to music, tools on the wall, workshop to actually craft things, uh, random utility shelf here, little locker. And then the second floor is, the second floor is, I guess you would say done, but there's still things I'm trying to collect to put up there. Um, but it's fairly close to being ready. So this is the game room. So it's quite busy, as you can see. Got my Nintendo Switch hooked up to an apple-shaped television uh, to play some Switch games. Little Nutcracker, big old train set. Got my pool, uh, my pinball machine here. I think there's a couple different kinds of pinball machines in this game, and I need to collect them all because anyone who's watched this channel knows I am obsessed with pinball. Foosball table, lava lamp, bunch of cool little light doodads, Newton's cradle, little lottery machine, or not lottery, bingo machine. Seahorse, got my music set here, play some drums, guitar, and saxophone. And that pretty much completes the tour of Guildville. I hit my five star rating uh, probably about a week ago, and uh, that's it. So thanks for tuning in. I'm going to give you guys a little wave by my fountain. For the Adventures Guild, I'm Steve, and we'll catch you next time.